Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make some coins that you can walk around and pick up. Now, what I've done is I've got a data source script here and a leader stat script to save my data. We actually have videos on how to make these. They will be linked top right and you will also be able to find them in the description. Now, let's get into this. First, we're going to do under our workspace. Well, we need to go to home and add in a part. I'm going to add in a cylinder. Now, we're going to scale this up. I'm going to make it a lot bigger like that and I'm just gonna bring it in it's thinner this kind of looks like a coin already let's just make it kind of golden and this is my coin right here this is what is going to be my coin now let's go under this part we need to anchor it so it doesn't fall and we need to turn can collide off we still need to make sure can touch is on and can query but can collide must be off now we need to add in a script under this and we need to say script.parent Dot, dot touched colon connect function hit now this hit is the object that touches the part and basically whenever something touches this part it's going to call this code here so there's going to be some code in here and it's going to call it so let's do that well first of all we need to check that if this hit is a player so we say local player equals game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent because the hit will be like an arm or a leg and the parent will be the actual player we have to make sure this player actually exists so if player then we need to increment their leader stats so if player dot leader stats this will check if they have leader stats and we need to say player dot leader stats dot coins dot value plus equals and i'm going to give them five this here is the amount to increase by and that's it right there the amount to increase by now once I've collected that so for before now before they get their money what we need to do is make sure this part can't be touched again so I'm gonna say local part equals script dot parent and we need to say part dot transparency equals one so you can't see it and part dot can color uh, can touch sorry it's gonna be equal to false and then we'll give our coins now we're going to wait math.random uh, and I'm going to wait between 5 and 12 seconds. I'm going to wait between 2 and 12 seconds. And then we're going to basically copy these two up here, paste them in. Transparency will be 1, can, can touch will be true. And if we now were to hit play, you'll see we've got 368 go uh, coins, which have got to 373. And it does, it disappears. We wait between 2 and 12 seconds. It reappears. And we can keep touching it. And that is it, everyone. That is all I wanted to show you today. Well, I hope you found that helpful. As you can see, it spawned in again. We can touch it. it. Keeps giving us coins. So as I say, if you found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. You will actually be able to find this code in our Discord server. So make sure to join that if you want this code. And I, and I hope to see you in a future video. So thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye.